It's Sunday. Why are you yelling? How you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> not I'm refreshed. I'm yeah, refreshed. you looked refreshed. Are yeah. we sponsored by this this drink? Should We're not. We, not should not we yet. plug it? I don't know. Um, it, what's Fresco owned by? Coca Cola or something? It definitely sounds like a Coca Cola. It brand. is a Coca Cola brand. Yeah. Shout out to Brandon. Brand, wait, Brandon's had wrote for Coke or Pep Coke. Coke. Yeah. You know what's funny? <laughs> like if I if I take a if we go to like a Seven Eleven or a Quick Check and I take a Pepsi out of the thing, he'll just like slap it out of my hand. So yeah. No oh, Pepsi products. Like, Dasani sucks. I just want to let, let is you that know. a Coke thing? What, That's yo, a Coke thing. Hold up. Why does why why do I get ripped on for drinking Dasani water all the time? Did they do something like environmental? Fucking I mean, they're owned by Coke, so they definitely did something environmentally wrong. What does Coke do wrong that the other fucking companies don't do wrong? Smart water is smart. They do smart things with it. <laughs> Supposedly, Fiji water, no man touches it. It goes from mountain to bottle. <laughs> I like Fiji water. Yeah. I'll never, if I ever get to Fiji water status, you, I was you, on come, Fiji. you come home with me, right? <laughs> I was on Fiji. I never need I was to be bougie Fiji enough for like drinking fucking Fiji. Two to three years, Tiffany's was giving it to their clients, Fiji water. I was like, I could, I could live this lifestyle. Just you weren't a client, and then they just cut it off. Budget cuts. Now we got Evian's. Yeah, yeah, you know who probably? Yeah, Fiji probably took a big hit during the COVID pandemic. You wouldn't think about like, oh, a water company, but like Fiji's so fucking bougie that all those types of companies are definitely cut out quick. I'm a weird guy. I like look at a water bottle and then I ponder how long it's been sitting in a warehouse before I drink it. Like really? supposedly, you think it t- does? It's anything? like three years until what, you, they sit there. Yeah, until you get it. Tell you what, those those companies are pretty fucking confident that they're going to be in business for three years. They're just like have unlimited supply of water bottles just sitting there. Yeah, and they can't send it to like Puerto Rico. That's the type when- of confidence we need in twenty twenty one. I need water bottle levels. Of confidence. Water bottle ca- confidence. Let's all go. Right, all right, all right. All right Let's so talk we're, we're, time crunch. Let's talk business. Yeah, because we right. gotta get the fuck so out of here. So I saw you when I see you last. I don't know. When I, I came last here. time we filmed, right? No, no. Oh yeah, we cracked a bottle. Oh, the, um, the on yeah. yeah, on the- we had some last night as well. Very good. We got a fan here, guys. You can't see him, but yeah, we got a fan. He paid five thousand dollars to sit on a beanbag <laughs> yeah, to watch yeah. this film. <laughs> yeah. Who wants next? Anyways, <laughs> drop a comment. <laughs> drop if you a comment want to come next. and drop a, drop a paycheck, and you can come through. <laughs> Hit the like, subscribe, all that bullshit. Okay. Um, last um, time we popped a bottle. Um, first celebrating. celebrating. You know, last two months have been rough, and finally we got to look at the sunset on us. It's it big. was beautiful. It was big. After, beautiful. After you were smiling cheek to of, cheek. It's the first time I smiled in months. It felt yeah. like. But years, gonna, it felt yeah, like. It was, I thought I was about to cry from happiness. It was awesome, though. So big day. Want, let's talk about it. All right. So first announcement, we have officially signed with Underdog Fantasy for the 2021 season. They are the big dog sponsor. We can't do shit with nobody else. We don't they, want to. They put a ring on it. You want to talk about it. Steve putting rings on people's fingers? Underdog, underdog put a ring on BDGE. Let's go. So everything we do is going to be going through underdog fantasy. We signed a nice fucking deal with them. They are just a perfect fit for our brand, which I'm excited about. And the thing I'm most excited about right now, just got off a call with them about an hour ago. We're trying to blow up the fucking draft weekend. Okay. The NFL draft weekend is at the end of this month. Yes. It's also, right when I have to get my second COVID shot. Also, right when I'll be moving into my new apartment. Like, though, everything is happening in, like, a four-day span. Let's and go. it's going to be absolute fucking madness. Are so, they supplying Adderall? Uh, I told them I would supply their company with Adderall. Okay. we got plenty of stock here. <laughs> nice. Okay, so basically what they want to do is... I actually pitched this idea. So the, the guy who created the tequila... Yes. Um, we got on the phone call. Base. And I was like, yo, for that weekend, if we want to do it live, like we could do normal YouTube streams where we're doing like Zoom shit. But if you're already coming back to New York, you got some players on the East Coast, some dudes in New York that you signed to be like content creators. Why don't we have everybody come to New York? Why don't we rent out an Airbnb for the weekend and make it a fucking thing? Yeah. Stream Friday, stream Saturday, stream Sunday. Amazing. And get a baller place where we can set up shop. And I got a bunch of equipment here that we can use, you know? So... He relayed that to the team, the team I got on the call with today. So their plan is this. They want to do an all-day Monday thing. So the draft is Thursday to Saturday. They want to do a Monday thing where it's noon to midnight. They're going to rent out an actual studio, like an apartment sort of studio. Yeah, just set it up. And they're going to have... Yeah, exactly. Like a porn shoot for fantasy football. And we're going to have different co-hosts be there physically awesome and we're gonna bring on different investors and celebrities to do best ball drafts with us that's throughout the day i don't know how much i can really put out here in terms of names and shit we're not but you already told me some names and i was pumped yes and like those are the dudes that are gonna be like i'm gonna be on youtube with those dudes if this goes according to plan can Can i come Honestly, probably. Like, I feel like it's going to be like a fucking whorehouse in there with everybody <laughs> hanging out for the weekend. They're not. It's not going to be a whorehouse, Heather. 
It's, it's going <laughs> to be Heath, very. Heath, you can come too. <laughs> That'll make it a whorehouse. Oh, fucking damn. That was good. That's she going to be mad at me? That's the mother of my my nut. Of your nuts? How dare yeah, you? The mother of your nuts? How dare you? Okay. Um, That's yeah, awesome. So, so, and That's awesome though. Yeah. And then they started, to, they started to brainstorm. Ramble. They started to brainstorm on the weekend they're like why don't we all just get an airbnb for the weekend and like we could set up like a bdge studio for because they're like what are you doing for the weekend we want you to pump us out for the weekend like we'll sponsor you and set up shop for you why don't we just get an airbnb where all of us are actually staying together and we set it up and i'm pretty i'm pretty sure they're like wanting our crew to like run that shit that's amazing so i think that means like are you like the hold on one sec light just went off we need a new battery skirt improvise all right so damn i gotta improvise tj you want to you want to slap on right now this is TJ. He spent five thousand dollars to. 5, he came from. He came from the the jungle. From the jungle. Tarzan over here. I'm fucking Tarzan. Just happy to be here. <clears throat> I uh, I spent five thousand dollars to hang out with uh, Big Dogs. Got to eat. Is that is that the brand? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Is that, is that you the, just paid five thousand. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. fucking fired. <laughs> yeah. You don't even know the brand. How dare you? Is that the brand? I actually, I actually paid the five Gs to sleep with Nick last night, so it was magical. Hey, I heard. Hey, hey, keep my keep my sex life out of here. Okay, um, what the fuck was, what was I saying? Um, they want you to be the yeah. So I'm not sure like how much they were trying to make that like. I, I think if I read this correctly, they're like they want our squad to like be in that studio, live streaming for the draft. So like. Animal snacks. I'm going to tell Noah to come out. Yeah, like, he has to. Yeah, right. Like so, I I think that's the direction they want for the weekend. Do you it's, know the other content content creators that they have brought on? I have interviewed a couple of them. Um, Are you like the big dog kind of on no. this? No, oh, some of these. Well, uh, in fantasy, I'm saying not in. I would say I'm like I, I'm not the biggest one that they've signed, but like, um, I might be the most. In, I, I guess my YouTube following might be bigger than a lot of their collective followings. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple dudes, like one of the main anchors they signed. This guy Josh Norris was on a big podcast. He's bigger than I am. He's probably their main. They they signed a couple dudes full time to be like their content creators. Oh, like wow. they work for Underdog yeah, yeah, now. Okay. So they have a couple dudes like that doing full time content. Um, so all those guys I think are going to be at the studio at the house on That's Monday awesome. and shit. So we might be like shifting. The dude uh, Peter Overzet, the really really funny dude, like half comedian i was telling them i was like yo just let me and fucking pete rip for the 12 hours or whatever let us interview and do the best ball and i think they're trying to get those other hosts in as well so we might be like shifting throughout the 12 hours like i take an hour he takes an hour someone else yeah takes. i mean that would be hard for you to go yeah it, in theory it's it sounds like really fun i'm really amped up about it right now i got yeah. a lot of energy yeah, but looks like, like <laughs> in yeah in the actual moment of it like i'll probably pass away so you know we'll we'll let that play how it lies and um it's gonna be fun as shit but that's great i think that's a great slingshot into the season that you needed dude like Okay, I'll drop one name. So, like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing the best ball draft with, like, the chain smokers. And, like, they tweet out a link. It, that's, like, 1.5 mil. Yeah. Like, they probably have, like, way more than that, actually. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's I like, saw them in concert. They're pretty good. Dude, I really like the chain smokers. Are you going to start smoke chain smoking cigs with them? I'll rip a fucking cig right on the fucking air. Dude, dude I'm pumped. Come on. <laughs> you think you, that, Honestly, would be, that would be good irony if the whole... We didn't really say anything, but the whole time we just, like, just chain, smoked. chain smoked. Yeah. would be sick. You should buy a pack of cigs and a pack of fake gum cigs. So you guys could just fucking go. I'm sorry. Yeah. I apologize, apologize again. I'm, I'm sorry. Times three. Okay. So that's awesome. Let's okay, go back. So <laughs> my other concern is this. My other, my other real concern is yeah. I have the second vaccine shot Wednesday. The draft is Thursday night. That whole weekend. That's going to put me out. Am I just going to have to like Michael Jordan flu game that shit? Yeah, 100%. We, we, got, you, we got some things we could just put in you that. Whoa. <sighs> what the fuck? I've been, I've been there. Too many sexual references today. That wasn't even sexual. I'm just talking about we could just some things I can put in you. Yeah, that's gonna make you feel better. Okay, fair. We'll just you put can, a just shot P, in your butt. P D. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, trying to get it moved though. You can, you have you a 41 have, days yeah. time frame or whatever. How Every many? time I 41 days yeah. after your first one. Well, so. what happened with were you a Moderna or Pfizer? Pfizer. Fucking I, Pfizer. I got Pfizer too, and it gave me a Viagra when I left. What? I'm just joking. Oh, it was so just we, a joke. I'm fucking big pharma. We don't joke about big pharma over <laughs> but here. But I got it, and they're like, "Oh, you want to come this day?" I'm like, "No." They're like, "You want to come this day?" No. They let you choose. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I asked them immediately. I was like, "Yo, can I?" Because I knew it was a draft. Day. I was like, "Can I move this back?" And they're like, "You got to call this number." Maybe it's different because I did Jersey, and they're like, "You have to oh, do okay. it with a certain time." So I'm now now I'm going like 7 a.m. on the 19th. Mm, yeah. So I, I so I called the number the first time, and the dude was like, "Is it extenuating circumstance?" I told him some shit about like I had a, I guess technically I have like a big work meeting. Just say to you do. travel. That's yeah, that's what I, what I should have said. And um, 
he was like, okay, let me like see if I can pull it. He p- kept me on hold for like 10 minutes and then just disconnected. And I was like, fuck this. Call back. And they're like, call back a couple of days before your appointment. They should be able to move it for you. I was like, are you going to write like a note or something in my no file? Way. They're like, no, we're not going to do that. So like, it's kind of 50, 50 on whether or not I can move the fucking shot. So I kind of need that move because maybe you should go to Javits Center. It had a customer service. That's, that's where I was. I was at the Javits Center. They spelled my fucking name wrong on the card. They put my date of birth wrong. I had to stay an extra like 20 minutes after to get it fixed. I'm like, what's, what the wow. fuck? Yeah. They probably gave me the wrong shot. That's why you didn't come visit me. Yes. Yeah. That's look, why. Yeah. Look at I you. actually had a call like right after yeah. that. <laughs> but you feel good about this um, underdog contract. I feel great about it. And you did have other con- like other people trying to get you in, but you said ultimately that underdog just, just know, knows the brand feels the brand you felt like it was just like the just, perfect I, partnership it's the perfect partnership because i think this partnership also transcends because they're 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 signing dudes um they signed a dude from barstool trill withers who's doing like uh a podcast that he did there they're signing dudes that are like didn't in, leave barstool in the he left barstool but not because of underdog he left barstool actually like when dave when prez is like 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 racist kind of video oh that guy yeah oh, okay yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was part of them he did the mixtape yeah um one of the one of the guys on that he's with underdog now so they're 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 starting to position themselves more as like a sports media company not just like a fantasy thing which is perfect because that means the upside of the company is fucking massive they're they're thinking of themselves as like the ringer or like barcel or something like that where you can go a bunch of different avenues so um, it's cool because they also have their own product obviously they're like a software company so they yeah there's there's a lot of legs to it and it also exposes me to a wider genre of of people that i can like create with and, and do that shit so it's, it's a perfect yeah it's perfect perfect fucking partnership that's great. And then when we were talking about this, you said, like, now you really have to focus on your fantasy football content. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking about that. Like, what, what do you mean? Or have you been not? Or have you been, like, lacking in it? Did this just um, get you going now? Or Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like that deal is done. So now I need to focus on what makes the business run outside of that deal. And it's like selling the draft guide, selling that shit. I'm like, that goes when I go with the fantasy stuff. And I've been so... um. I've been putting my focus and my energy so much into like the background noise that's going on. It's taking yeah. away a lot from my content creation. And maybe it doesn't even seem like that to the people on YouTube, but I know I could be spitting out like three to four really high quality fantasy videos right now. And I'm, and I'm not doing that. I'm doing like two probably tops. And I would say like one of them is probably not even like that high of quality. It's kind of just like, I have to get it out and get it done with. But like, I see, I think as soon as the NFL draft is over, like all this stuff is done with, like I'll, I'll be ready to fucking roll. And go. I think it's just. Are you yeah. going to change anything? Or are you going to uh, kind of keep the same platform? Or you have some ideas? Uh, I, I I don't I don't know. I think it, I think it's going to go back to me doing more individual content. You know, at the end of the day, that's like how that's what I like to do. That's what I like um, putting on on my YouTube channel. I guess so. Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll have to figure out. I, I don't know the specifics of the content I'm going to be making, but I, I know it needs to get back to my grassroots of like how I fucking got here. The thing that got me here was the individual content in a sense. You know, and. Uh, and that, that'll always work, I think. I think as long as I'm willing to put the work in, like, that shit will continue to compound on itself. And that's, I don't know, that's where my head's at. Well, that's good. Thanks, Steve. No problem. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> that's, that's real good. That's good. Of you. Okay. Um, speaking of hot sauce. So we're going to be partnering up with Truff. This is official? Uh, I guess we didn't sign any contract. We signed a contract with Felix Gray, though, which is for... We, t- we talked about that. Yeah, I forget what we talk about on this. Yeah, thing, that's why I sometimes have so brain much fart. fucking nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> no, Felix Gray, we have we Felix talk- Gray. We're locked in. Yeah. Truff. So, so Mike is the director of finance for Truff, which is out of control. Yeah, I didn't, he just been telling me about. It. He's like, dude, you should check out this hot sauce company. You should check out this hot sauce company. I was like, I don't even like hot sauce. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Sent me over the care package. I'm like, this is fucking delicious. Uh, so I got on a call with her. It's good dipping hot sauce. It's not like a. That's what they say. They're like, it's not a, it's not like a, a hot sauce. It's You're like not a, marinating it, like chicken. It's like a on flavor that. enhancer. Yeah. Basically. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's fucking facts. It's really good. Um, their, their like startup story was like pretty interesting too. I, I don't like fucking lay it all out here, but you might, yeah. we don't have that much things to talk about today. We're done. We're just off the <laughs> uh, no, it was basically no, like, joking. it was like the starters like started uh, an Instagram account where they were doing they were like just like posting but the way that she explained it to me is like they were just posting pictures of things the instagram account they have is just sauce it's like at sauce i'm like that's fire like, they were just posting like saucy ass pictures uh food related but like also cool pictures and it started just taking off and a lot of celebrities started following them so they just were like we got a good platform here we got something cool let's make a product that we can sell and uh they started experimenting with the hot sauce and they 
They package it really well. It's like the perfect. It's very, it's very like high class hot sauce. It's like the perfect like millennial like Gen Z type of product that takes off on social media. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Like it, that hits so well, and, and it also tastes good. That's like the second part. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so um, you know they're starting to experiment a little bit more like podcasting and stuff. So so yeah, I mean it was. I think it's another good partnership because it's a sauce that I actually fucking use now. Yeah, I DM'd Mike uh, to get, give me hot uh, sauce. Did he ever hit you back? Yeah, he said no. <laughs> he's well, he's like, it's for influencers. At least he's a straight shooter. Yeah, I was like, all right, cool. I appreciate it. He's like, I gave Nick a fat box. I'm like, yeah, he like opened it and put all his fingers in it already. There's nothing left. What am I going to do with it? I want to fucking try it. Yeah, you got to give me one. I, I'm a hot sauce god. Didn't you eat a bunch of it? I feel like well, you had it. Every single person that comes <laughs> here, I'm like, yo, try this. Yeah. <laughs> I put on like four hour old chicken. <laughs> Dude, bro, the chicken was good. Dude, my stomach hurt so bad that night. Don't blame it on the chicken. Blame it on yourself. No, I blame it on, blame the it on your fucking That's ass. That's the only thing. Working out for two years. Okay, it's been one year. <laughs> it's been one full Actually, year. Actually, I did I run. run I, I did run. 11 months and 27 I did run days in a ago. later April, so it hasn't been a full year yet, so don't even disrespect me. It's been like. Nothing I do is disrespectful towards you. <laughs> that, like, <laughs> that hurts because it, it's so up. true. Okay. What else, Steve? Well, you were talking, uh, you were. I hate, I hate, I hate the start that you just did to that question. <laughs> what? You were talking to me? No, I don't know. I feel like you're gonna go down a path that I don't want to talk about. Yeah, probably. Fuck, that's okay. what that's what it's about. Go. So I felt like I saw some some pain behind this text. So you were texting me about um apartment looking and everything, and then you're like, uh. and then you're just like, TJ is uh might be moving to Cali, right? And then you're like, I'm trying to figure it out. And then out of nowhere, you're like, this sucks. I'm always by myself. I'm so lonely. I didn't say I'm so lonely. Yeah, you did. You said lonely. No. Yeah, you did. Bring it up. All right, let's go. I remember because it, it didn't get that emotional. I was just no, like. No, it wasn't emotional. It was just like direct to like, you're like, uh, hold on. We'll we'll go here. I didn't say the word lonely. It was never texted. <laughs> or maybe, that, maybe bring, that's it what up, I, bring it up, motherfucker. Hold on, just wait. Fucking fact check. We text a lot, so it just might take I know, a this second. this fucking sucks. Dude's going to get there first. Okay, you said. I hate that no one lives in New York, LOL. Like, I'm just by myself no matter where I go. Yeah. that's like Sounds a, lonely. That's, that's a physical fact. I felt like that's a definition of lonely. Like, you feel lonely. Do you feel lonely? I meant in a living situation. Uh, I, listen here, buddy. No. Uh, you don't feel lonely? I got all my best, my girlfriends here right now. Yeah, right now until we leave you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm occupied with shit. Yeah, but do you feel lonely? Like, I feel like you've been by yourself for like uh, some time right now. Right now, no, I don't. No. Like, right now in my, my space in life, I don't feel lonely. But, like, I have before, obviously. Like, you know that. I've talked about it before on my channel and shit. Like, when I first started working by myself, like, I was definitely super fucking lonely. So, this year, even during Corona, you didn't feel it? Or uh, now? There were, def there were definitely points during Corona, yeah, sure, when I felt lonely. Definitely, like, when now that the weather's getting nice, I feel a lot more, like, vibrant and shit. But yeah. when it was dark at fucking 4 p.m. and stuff, I yeah. There, I mean, there were times that I got lonely, I'm sure. But right now, I feel good. Maybe the apartment thing, like, made me start thinking about it again. Um, but like I was saying, it was, you know, if I move downtown, it's further away from most people that I interact with on a, on a daily basis. So it's yeah. like that in turn does make me physically more lonely. You know what I mean? I don't think I meant that from like a, an emotional standpoint. I, I know was, you're trying to squeeze the tears out of my fucking eyes right now, but it's not going to work. No, I don't want tears. I just want more understanding. That's fair. Like, yeah. do you feel like I, I've always, I've never lived alone. I live with my family and then I went, moved in with Heather. I think if I even live by myself for a, a two weeks, I would crumble. Like, I, I would fucking crumble. I would be like Ben Stiller in Dodgeball, how fat he is, like with the chicken bone. Like, yeah. I would just like I crumble. Mean, I would just eat by myself and just hang. I mean, and that's, then, yeah, that's that's like what... what like I, how do you deal with that's that? That's what I do. I don't fucking know. I mean, I try to be around people as much as possible, but like, I'm also a very independent person where like, I like my space. Do I, you? Yes. Really? Yeah. I, like, I don't see a lot of people that often. Like, on the weekend sometimes, you when you come here and shit, but like... I'm fine if you're going to tell me I'm not. Honestly, if you told me I wasn't going to see another person for like two days, I'm like, ah, that's kind of weird, but like, I'd be fine. Hmm. I mean, if, listen, I'm fucking human. Of course, like I get lonely sometimes, but I got my fucking big girls here. <laughs> like you like living alone or no? I mean, there's definitely pros and cons to it. I would say uh, for the most part, yes. Um, if I can choose to live with someone or live alone right now, I would probably rather live with someone as long, but it needs to be like a have your cake and eat it too. Like if I'm going to live with someone, it needs to be somewhere that's like not like a crammed ass space that we're like on top of each other kind of shit. If I'm, if that's the alternative, I would rather live alone. It's like, you know, you have no fucking responsibility to anyone. If I don't want to clean up for three days, like it's fucking gross, but like, I don't have to, you know, I have no responsibility to another person. I can fucking walk around naked if I want. I can do whatever, 
the fuck I want at any time. So it's, I mean, it's nice living alone. It is. Yeah. And I wonder actually if like me and TJ ended up getting a place, if it would be something that I like started to slowly resent after like three or four months, you know, if I'm like, fuck, I, you know, I wish I lived alone now, not because of like a him thing, but just in general, you know, I don't know. It's one of those things where like, can you go backwards? Can you go back to it? I think you can. I think you speak, speak on it from your experience, Steve. I have no experience. Dang. I have zero. Sorry. I thought that was just kind of funny. Like, Anyways, go. Sorry. You're such a piece of shit right now. I know. I got a lot of energy right now. Yeah, I'm you just do. Firing it on you. <laughs> no, but I, I feel like uh, it depends on what kind of roommate you have. I think it, now you're at a point where you can't just have a, a roommate that just wants to hang with you all the time. Yeah. Like at this point right now, if we, say we were roommates, this probably now wouldn't work. Probably not. Actually. It would have worked up until maybe last year. Yeah, I, I think, think so too. I was thinking about that. I need someone I could feed off of. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that. You can't feed off me. How dare you? I can. I mean, you can if feed you, off. If you leave me some of your scraps <laughs> of the food you eat. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't do that. To, to no, me. I don't. I lick that plate. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would need someone that's like not not necessarily there for a purpose, but like not there just taking up space and shit. Yeah. you know, like that's like right that's now. I would like literally that. just come work. Yeah, like you'd work, you'd off, come hang would, out on the couch. I would lay yeah. here, and then you'd be like, I have to do something. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, Like, exactly. get out of my face. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, I I don't know where I'm going to be in fucking one month from now, to be honest. We're trying to figure but it I'm out. But I'm, like, excited to We're see. We're going to figure it out today. We signing. We signing, baby. Get that fucking signature ready. So when you, when you have your downtime, what do you do? Do you, like, what's your, we talked about this. You, you have no vices, really, but, like, do you do anything other than work? Um, cause you don't play video games. You don't smoke cigs. You don't drink like not socially. Okay. So on like a typical work day. Yeah. I mean like when I have to, I guess, figure out time to kill in a sense, I was telling TJ before, like with the video, I think we might've talked about this with like video games. Like I have an yeah, Xbox. Yeah. And I didn't have one for like five years. So I don't play video games, but now if I need to like kill time, like, if I need to be somewhere, but, you know, I still have, like, a few hours before I need to be there, I'll just start playing video games, and, like, my fingers will go, and it's strictly to kill time, but I realize, like, it, I'm not enjoying doing it whatsoever. So I would say, like, yeah, I'll just, like, work until I don't feel like working anymore, and then I'll go hang out with fucking London, London Bay. Oh, yeah. That that, uh, that occupies a lot of my time, I would say. At, at, at night is when I need to figure out, because I, I, during the day, You're no good. problem filling my time. Yeah. My energy goes straight to work, and, like, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., I'm good. After that is where it gets... I'm, I'm actually thinking about it now, like, I don't know what I do at night. I really don't know. Because I don't spend a lot of time here, like, watching TV. I'm I feel like to, you just pace. I do a lot of pacing. You're a big pace guy. Big pace guy. When it's nice out, I go for a lot of walks. Um, I'll try... I don't really work out that much anymore. Like, almost ever. I could tell. I know. It's fucking disgusting. I look it's, awful on the beach. Me. Oh, I was not like, you. I was like, I still look kind of look okay. <laughs> You're when are you going Sunday. Sunday, yeah, going to St. Thomas. Wait, there was like a hurricane or an earthquake at one of them. I was like low key hoping it said St. Thomas. Why? Not really. Well, j only so I could send you the Instagram post. What and I was like, okay, th here's what. What I, was the whole meeting? Here's what have been the ideal situation. Okay, let's like, hear it. St. Thomas, huge earthquake. All resorts crack in half. Send it to you. No one dies. Send it to you. And we're like, oh, fuck. And then I knew already that it was a different St. Thomas. So, like, really, it was just to fuck with you a little bit, you know? But, like, you're still good to go on the vacation. But I just wanted, like... That the, was not just, your intention at all. I just you, wanted, like, the first 10 seconds of, like, sheer fucking destroying... Oh, my God, an earthquake hit. Like, like in a funny sense, though. Like, oh, my God, an earthquake hit the place. Are you backtracking by yourself right now? Because this made no sense. Because there's one St. Thomas in Ontario, and I keep Googling it by accident. Well, that's what I mean. If, like, an earthquake happened in St. Thomas, Ontario, no one lives there anyway. It's like, it wouldn't hurt anybody. But now like, you're telling me there's an earthquake in St. Thomas, the real one. There was an earthquake in a Caribbean place somewhere. And it was, like, St. Something. And I was like, that has to be near where Steve's going, right? But, like, why... How big's the Caribbean? But why would you want to send me that? Answer the question. I don't know. I'm not a like. A, Ge geographic master that's the name you're gonna use yeah man <laughs> that's probably my i'm not al roker <laughs> okay <laughs> what does al roker do is he, he a weatherman yeah i don't even know who is al roker white or black he's the black guy the big fat black guy that uh then um got the lasik and got s fat small black guy my th channel uh, four i was about to say something fucking dumb I'm not gonna say channel that. four yeah i don't know what he looks like yeah you do like that well, like off the top of my head i don't know what he yeah like. you do look like you Honestly, kind of <laughs> a little. Love it. Okay, uh, but we're, we're, I want to backtrack because you didn't let me talk about my side about uh, 
what do we do? you do on your time off? And then since doing this, now I'm coming here on my days off. I I I just I cooked dinner at like eleven today. Like I'm trying to still do Wait, my what? daily chores now. Oh, like, like eleven a.m. Yeah, like it's it's crazy. I'm getting back to like a I feel like back, a crazy routine. Ways. Yeah, I think so. It's kind of it. nice do jump. Do it back to my ways. Yeah, you know. Now I, I know. You. Now I know we bike. Now you know it's real. But I'm excited for the summer. I think it, I need this vacation. I haven't had, I haven't touched sand since Mexico. I was just saying he took his fucking sandals out and uh, he's like, ah, oh, sorry, I got some sand in here. I was like, honestly, I miss sand, dude. I, I hate pour sand. It all out. I hate sand, and I'm yeah, excited. you're an anti sand guy, and I'm excited to like. Be it's gonna be beach. fucking great. I actually don't know how I would react if I like went on a vacation right now. Honestly, I feel like I'm just gonna have a boner everywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> just big boner energy. We have nothing planned, which is the best part. That's good. I'm just gonna. What's what's like there? What are like the possibilities of you doing? I there? don't know. Maybe go to like a sugar cane factory and a sugar cane factory. Yeah, they're not gonna like offer you like the scuba diving bullshits. Well, yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I love that. I'm so anti that shit too. Yeah, like what I hate when people try to organize their stupid ass. Let's go snorkeling. Beach why? I'm like, why? So I can get like fucking rashes yeah, on my. You cock. remember when we went to the booze cruising, uh, Mexico, and then they're like, "Time to go snorkeling." We're like, "What?" I got so sick. You remember? I was like, I napped that entire thing. Basically, I got like a really bad headache. No, I don't remember that. Yeah, I like slept on the entire boat ride. I fucking hated that shit. Why'd you get a headache? I don't know. The fuck, why would I know that fucking answer? Just that seeing fl- like flippers on George was like worth it. Pinnacle of that's facts. Yeah, the, Mex- the Mexico trip was fun. I would, do, I would a do a group vacay somewhere. Yeah, we do need a vacay soon. What oh, do you sh- think? TJ, you need to put your shit in the dryer. Um, you can take this app here. Yeah, throw it in. You use this the QR code when you put it into the dryer, and then. Once it scans on the QR code, click what you want on the dryer, and then you can hit, like, okay on that. It's a little confusing of a process, so you might fuck it up a couple times. Fuck it up. So are we doing a fantasy football weekend? What do you think? Uh, I would like to. I would say by August. We need. Here's the thing, though. Yes. Let the me, thing about New York right it. now is the inside of places uh, are open, but only in a very organized fashion. Like, yes. I think in order to pull that weekend off in a really fun way. Go somewhere else. No. Oh. No, maybe. Maybe like Austin. I, I don't know. I don't. We could talk about that another time. But I'm t- I think we should keep it in New York if we do it. And the problem with New York is it's not fully open yet. Like, everywhere you go to, like, when you go out, you can go to bars and restaurants, but, like, if you're with six people, you're like, oh, can I get a table for me and my five friends or whatever, right? And you can't, like, go up to the bar and order a drink or anything like that. So it's like, it's like, yeah, we can just, like, bounce to, from restaurant to restaurant and, like, sit down and shit, but it's not the same yet, you know? Mm-hmm. If by August it's open, I think we're, like, realistically waiting for, like, the government to just say, okay, if you're vaccinated, you no longer have to wear. It's not, like, illegal to not wear a mask or whatever inside these places, and then New York's going to snap. That's what's going to happen. As soon as we get, like, the slightest door opening from Dude, the government. Dude, it's already packed. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. He was, uh, TJ was saying, like, when he's traveling, he was going to all these places, you know, different states and shit, and, like, nowhere really gave a shit. It was, like, everywhere you go, you could find, like, big-ass ragers and parties and stuff. Really? With no masks and stuff. I think New York was actually, like, the most strict when it came to people. Like, the people in New York were all, like, together in the fact that, we wanted everyone to wear masks and shit. Like, one, yeah, no, it's you very know, it's like you're like ostracized if you did some fuck. A hundred percent. Yeah, so that, I think we're still like kind of in that zone until we get further direction from people. I get you, but fucking mad people are being vaccinated right now. So I think that those numbers will start to pile up over the next couple of weeks and months and stuff like that, and we'll see uh, change pretty quickly. No, I'm excited. I think this summer's gonna be great if everything works out to plan. I think so. You too. Feel good about it. The only th- I'm like very still extremely stressed about the apartment situation and. T- you need like do you have a contingency plan on this i'm gonna get an apartment by myself i guess like i don't I, like you're not staying here i don't think so no okay like that's out of the question i don't know i need to like because with him it's been, the, what is it like 50 50 or i don't know like it was a zero as of like yesterday morning and now it's back to probably like 50 50 maybe but it was also like 50 50 four days ago and zero before you know what i mean it's like all over the place but now that we're like here i think i can probably pull it off to make him fucking jump into something so yeah i don't know and it's giving me a lot of anxiety because i don't know how to it's exhausting for me to go look at two bedrooms and then one bedrooms and then being like this is not big enough so i need to look at five fucking more i got shit to do like i can't focus on my content when i'm going on on the subway fucking all day that's why i was like if this doesn't work out shouldn't you just stay here 
Doesn't that make sense? I don't want the rent here is the the rent here was okay this year because it was net effective. They gave me like two months free and shit. I guess I have that same thing for the upcoming. Yeah, I, I guess that does make a little bit of sense. But right. Like, I don't want to stay here though. I don't want to be in Hell's Kitchen that long. Like, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, but like now you're just adding extra stretch for no reason. And then you're just gonna be in the lower east side just doing what? Doing sick shit. No, you're not. Doing sick shit. <laughs> With your lonely loneliness. <laughs> With my physical loneliness, yes. I don't know. I wish the best luck for you. I feel like when it comes to apartments, you just don't take any like suggestions nor any advice. And you're no, just like, fuck true. it. What suggestions or advice do I have I turned down? Uh this apartment, I remember everyone said no, and you're like, like I am the captain. Like I'm doing this. Who said no? I said no. But why what was wrong with this place? How much it cost? And then Corona hit. That's bullshit. Yeah, that's only because fucking Corona hit. Otherwise, yeah. It, well, you don't know what you would have. Corona didn't hit. Everybody would have been here. Yeah, but you don't know what if like BDG didn't take off. You get figured out. Wow. Um, what do you mean? What the fuck is like? I yeah, don't know. But like you were just talking about like end goals. Like, but that the purpose of the place would have still worked. Would have been fine. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I don't know either. I just think you always. Just you fall in love with something and you're like, we're just figure it out. And I feel like Corona just proved that like sometimes you should think a little more. Corona's a whole different fucking ball game. Yeah, though, but when you're talking about like predictive things. I, I get it. But like did Corona change any of your outlooks in life? Outlooks in life? Like, like hey, my maybe, ten year goals? No. No, not like, I'm not even talking about ten year goals. I'm saying like, hey, maybe I should like Start thinking about this a little more logically when I look at apartments or you know, because you never know when a pandemic's gonna hit. Or should you not think like that? I don't know. No, I'm not thinking like that. No, you're just gonna this. This just happened and it's over. It's never gonna happen again for you. The pandemic, yeah. yeah. I think okay. that's what I settled on. Gotcha. I mean, should I be looking at life differently? I feel you. So you got nothing out of Corona. What did you get out that's of Corona? Not, I mean, that's not true. I think. Tell um, me. I, I think Corona. I think it gave you. It gave me a reality check on. Uh, I'm. I've always been good at looking at things long term. Like time frames on goals and shit for okay. business, and I think this was like, uh, yeah, what you wanted to happen quickly is even longer away than further away than you think it really is. So that's the way I'm looking at it now. But it's not going to make me like work less hard in the short term. It's not going to make me, I don't know. I still, I'm still going to do things that I want to do now, regardless of how long shit is going to take me to get there eventually. Do you think it's taking longer because of you, or that's just the process? Um, I don't know. I'm sure there are things that I could have done better. Um, I think sometimes I think it's a process. Sometimes I think it's like not the process because there are people that do it like way quicker. But as soon as you start comparing yourself to people, I think that's where your downfall starts. I I try not to think about that stuff. Yeah, you can. I feel like that's like poison. Yeah, it's very poisonous. I feel like you might be a little stubborn. Do you think so? 100%. Right? I don't. I never think I am. But if I look at it objectively, I'm like, of course. Like I'm super stubborn. I'm stubborn. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Uh, I'm not like unwilling to listen to people though. I think, but I feel like you listen and you're just like, ha ha, okay, yeah, like deuces. But I hear it and I think about it, and I'm just like, but in, you know what it is? It needs to like really resonate with me in order to change. Like I don't look, I don't like hear an opinion, and I'm like, oh, like that should be equally weighted to my opinion. You have to like really, I feel you like fucking bring it. I if, feel like you do not listen to people's opinions if you like their resume doesn't match up to like yours or higher. Uh. No, that I mean that's very dependent on the subject because people. Like, no, yeah, I'm I'm talking about like not like. I mean, if their resume is really good for the subject we're talking about, not like mm-hmm. a physical resume, but like yeah, like that. If I want to talk about diamonds, like I don't need you to be a business owner to know more about diamonds than me. No, I'm just saying like advice, maybe not opinions. Advice. Like professional advice, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to take advice. I listen to things people say, like I listen to customers, I listen to people that listen fans of us and shit, obviously, and I could tweak things accordingly. But like when people are like, oh, I think this would be like a really good product idea. And I could like point out immediately seven things that just wouldn't work about it. You know, like it's just things that I know that I'm not going to waste my time, like thinking about it and like counteracting the shit like that. When so, people bring that to your attention, are you nice to them or you just don't respond? Um, It depends on the outrageous level of the business <laughs> of, of like the idea that they have. Some, some people are just like, Listen, when you get when you start to get and, and again, the audience that I have is like not really that big, but it's still like very big relative to normal people. You just get a lot of delusional people. You get a, a lot of delusional people who like I don't want to say waste your time because the, their intention is not to waste your time. They think they're coming from a good place. But I'm just like, I don't really have time to just like go back and forth with people that just don't understand the 
place that I'm at. You know. Yeah, I mean? yeah. That makes but sense. I, I, I'm not. I'm never like mean to them. Um, there. I definitely got to the point where I don't answer most of the people that come at me with, um, either non genuine. Like if they're like a long time listener or fan or some shit, and they're like, "Yo, you know, I've been watching you do this for a long time. Like I think you should whatever." I'll take some time to consider it and, and get back to them, but mm -hmm. um, it really has to be like a deep, deep level at this point. No, yeah. that makes sense. You think your fans are going to be like to dictate which way you go, or are you going to keep going like the way you want to go? Uh, I think I'll always just go this the way I want to go. Yeah. They, they could dictate little things, but for the most part, I just, I've kind of worked backwards and it's just like, I do what I want. And if you want to be a part of it, cool. Not like, I don't know. I feel like you make yourself vulnerable if you start doing that because then you can, you can never actually like make your own path. You know what I mean? No, I get it. I, I was just thinking about that the other day since like you are literally a brand of fans. Like without the fans, they wouldn't like, would you have a product, you know? So yeah. do you, and I was like, how much do, does that weigh? Like, are they, I've, are I've they your, are they your board, board members? You I've, know what I've I mean? I thought about it from a product. That's a good question. Yeah. I thought about it from a product perspective where it's like, okay, maybe what I want to put in the draft guide example, um, isn't what they want. And I'm, and that's where, like, content-wise, I'll always do what I want. Yeah. Product-wise, that's probably where I need to be, maybe not less stubborn, but, like, put more energy into that and say, like, okay, you know, if this is not really that helpful for them, why am I why am I forcing the fact that I think is good for them? You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's probably something I could be better at for Maybe sure. you could, like, after the season, everybody that, like, buys a draft guide has an email, you just survey monkey them. Get, like, feedback and shit. Yeah. yeah. I think I've, like, done that before, and I'm just like, oh, this is so overwhelming to, like, try to organize this and, like, figure out what I need to be doing to switch it and stuff. And a lot a lot of those types yeah. of feedback are also, like, very unrealistic like things. Like, personal and, like, what they want. For yeah, or it's just, like, a very, such a specific thing that they want. Yeah, like, in it, I'm just like, that. It's, it's it's not worth the amount of time I put into it for, like, the mass people, and it's not, you know, it, it, it's thing like that. So it is, a, it is a very tough balance doing that. Um, but, yeah, content side, I think we'll always just do whatever we want to, and that will resonate with people on a personal level. Product size is a little less personal, so I think you do need to yeah. kind of tailor fit it to what people want. That makes sense. Yeah. How, how's the draft guide going? Everything good? You said the website's up, right? But the homepage is not. The the homepage is up, but it's not like the homepage we want. It, mm -hmm. It's it's a workable, it's a serviceable thing. Um, it's live, yeah. So I think we've, uh, I think I think we're up to like a, between 150 and 200 orders. We had like 120 pre orders like dating back a month or so when we opened it up. So it's running smoothly. Um, just started putting out like video content that's actually like pushing it a little bit. So yeah. um, I think it's yeah, I think it's all. Uh, uh, according to plan do you do any marketing for that like in like a sense of like ads or anything or no paid marketing just organic marketing uh, pretty just cool. like yeah pumping I, I think honestly that's what really separates you'll see you'll see in the next like five ten years the companies that don't need to do paid advertising are the ones you know the brands are the ones yeah. that are going to win long long term that's why i'm like very very bullish on creating your own products and creating your own demand like cutting out the middleman mm -hmm. i think that's like what every good business should um eventually try to do and if you could pedal your shit i've thought about that too you know why because i've worked with companies before where they'll offer me like a very low offer like a very low cpm or something and i'm like at my first reaction is like that's kind of like scummy that's corny like i know what i'm worth i don't know why you're wasting my time offering that and then i realize that same company grows organically like really well so then i put myself in those shoes and i'm like the way we're going like am i going to offer um am i going to sorry uh there's a realtor am i going to offer like an influencer their going rate if we can get way more bang for the buck from just me plugging it into my own video and yeah. i'm like okay it makes sense if 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 i don't have the leverage over the company they should be lowballing me on offers you know what i mean so i started to think about it that way too i just we're not at a point where we need to do that yet I'm, maybe one day we will be um and that's cool because i know how to do facebook and instagram advertising and stuff i just feel i, f I feel like you're leaving a, a big market of you know when people have now that jobs are going back to normal they'll have fantasy fantasy football in the office and everything and you know how many people just google like how to play fantasy football and imagine like your draft guide came up they would probably buy it. Yo, like I'm the, straight up just not good at scaling, to be honest with you. And that's where pay, pay, that's what paid advertising yeah. in its purest sense is scaling. Yeah. Paid advertising is scaling. So maybe that's a, maybe that's a thing. So I have yeah. actually, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be starting to run YouTube ads uh, July-ish, July, August. Okay. Uh, we're going to see how those go. And I have a feeling those, we'll see. I'll experiment with them. I have a feeling, I think there's a 50-50 chance. It doesn't really do much, but I think if it hits, it'll hit really fucking big. And I think those can make all of our videos view counts go up 
very very high numbers and like i think we could shoot up our subscriber rate pretty pretty it's like it's like uh, no i feel like you just keep saying like you want to grow organically but you also know how to do these things so it is organic because you're doing it you're not paying someone to do it and you're doing it yourself so it's still organic but, it, but it's like the organic is guaranteed to work whereas like but if like I'm these ad- put paid money into it like, yeah but it's getting the viewership maybe the loyalty people then fall in love with you you're just giving other doors and avenues open yeah and you know how to do it so i don't i never got why you never did it like it doesn't make sense to me like yeah. an outside perspective of, no that makes sense it, like, it's just like you, a lot more energy for me to do like actually make the creatives of this stuff and run like ad funnels and shit when like it comes you said after 4 p.m you don't really know what you do <laughs> Fuck off. I don't, need more, <laughs> I don't need more work on the plate right now. But we're gonna start we're gonna start experimenting with YouTube ads. Um and we're gonna start uh, that's probably what we'll do for paid for this off season. But but that being said, if it works, like I'll, I'll budget fucking 15, 20 K yeah. into it if we need to to see how fucking high this thing scales. Yeah, I like that. I think you should do that. Yeah. Um so that yeah, I'm not gonna kick that off until like search is like really high on Google and YouTube and stuff. So probably like July ish and then we'll see where it goes from there. I feel like a Facebook ad is kind of like when your mom shares it, it's going to random people and maybe someone's going to click it. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I, yeah, I, we'd probably, yeah, yeah, we'd probably stick to Facebook. See, Facebook, most people on Facebook now are like fucking old people. So old. It's old people. Instagram has no organic reach. So old are the people I love to watch from high school. Yeah. I love them all. So it's all the weirdo. It's all the fucking weirdos and old people. That's Dude, all the is. things that people have done in our high school like are out now and like, I feel like for the last 10 years, there's just been a closet and then they're like, I have opinions. The Emerson, the Emerson, the Emerson <laughs> brand is not doing well. Dude, it's not. No. Someone like one, one kid, like always, I'm not even going to get into it. Actually. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to do this. I'm going to start getting fucking mad, <laughs> but uh, we got to go. We do have to hop on a subway. I have very, to take very, very poop. soon. I have to pee. Can like, I poop? This is, you poop live. <sighs> <sighs> All right. We're out. Uh, Thank you. Love you. Goodbye. Why are you? Check. Skirt. Skirt. Skirt check. Skirt check. Skirt. Skirt. <laughs> Why are you yelling? Stop. <laughs> fucking Sexy Pats edited it last time and left that shit in there. Yeah. The whole fucking thing. I just you send it to him. I was like, you send it back when you're done. I didn't even listen to it or read it. I'm, I, started, I started to do that now. That's I'm good. just like sending out all of my... No, it's not good. I've been sending out all my shit I do and I'm just being like, edit this, upload it. And I just never look at it or never listen to it. Send it to me. Why? Because you're going to fucking edit it? No, I'll listen to it. Oh, send. I mean, the final product just goes straight to YouTube. We don't have time to like listen to it before it goes up. It's mostly like sexy bats. That's why some of these go up at like 5 a.m. and some at like noon. Because if I sleep elsewhere and I wake up and I'm like, oh, I didn't upload to YouTube yet. Or I didn't make like a thumbnail yet or some shit. Because uh, sexy bats upload, uploads it overnight. Yeah, he's from Canada. Yeah, different time zones over there. Yeah, right? that's what I heard. Is Canada a different time zone? No. Uh, only if you're like the Cali way who lives there except mooses and bears what part of what's on the Toronto. west coast of Toronto Toronto and uh you ever been in Toronto yeah how many times so your dad used to drag you no right yeah dude I would go to what? day trips at Toronto why'd you complain so much Toronto's supposed to be lit yeah when you're fucking going to like going with your woes and you're six whatever he says <laughs> what? I'm literally going to like an, a fucking garage with Indian I, people I feel like just you're... feeding me basmati rice the like, spicier the better yeah, the spicier like, that I remember suck. I still got nightmares about like going to your family parties bro like 2am your family parties get turned up and it's yeah. like all the Indian people like spicy yeah spicy, uh. the spice god is here <laughs> I'm just like dude I can't really face. do like yeah. spicy Doritos they love seeing white people me. freak out on spice. They're like, ha, ah, we have you now. Yeah. Like, we're better than you at this moment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, w- I would do, if I was non white, I would love to fuck with white people. Yeah, it's awesome. We're the worst. You yeah. should see Heather sometimes when she's trying to be. <laughs> Are we live? Uh, we're not live, but oh. we're recording. Nice. Well, the thing about white people opposed to everybody else is like, you could see when we're in like utter fucking panic mode yeah. because we start turning <laughs> different colors. The best, on uh, Mother's Day, like two years ago, I was making a crawfish boil and I put the slap your mama seasoning. But I was so hungover, I put the whole fucking thing in it. How many times you did that? You did that for the sl- smoking meats and clapping cheeks? Yeah, it, too. yeah. I had to buy like six. I bought like six pounds <laughs> of this, and I made it for Mother's Day. And I put too much. <laughs> Your mother's probably pissed. She was pumped. It was a personal thing. I feel like. Anyways, and then like I put way too much, and out of nowhere, Heather just turned bright red, and she just like goes like, <laughs> I can't take this, and just runs upstairs. I'm like, that must fucking suck. I love that. Let's get. Uh, we're we're gonna talk some hot sauce today. Actually, yeah, I'm ready to go.
Okay. 